Hello and welcome to Marco Media Channel. Today we're going to review yet another Android TV launcher that caught my eye that I hope you're going to like. The launcher I'm talking about is Simple Launcher. It's not originally made for a Android TV. Um, it is made for phones, but it works well and looks cool and you know like i said functions very well well to first of all um to install the launcher you simply go to google play and there's a free version and there's a pro version so we're gonna go with simple launcher and there it is simple launcher three um you download install just like anything else, since I have it downloaded and installed, I'll go back home. And let me show you uh, on the home screen. You can see there's uh, icons are very cleanly laid out. Uh, there's time and date uh, in the left side. And with a pro version, you can also add other widgets to it. There's also search, um, uh, search uh, content and apps uh, window on the upper left side. And an app drawer in the left uh, bottom left. Now, by default, you can see five icons in the row, and um, you can expand it uh, to eight. Um, and also, uh, default view is actually a circular view, and I can show it to you. Let's click uh, uh, and hold the screen, go to Preferences, and we're going to go Home Screen. And in here, you can see Grid Layout. And we can change it to circular. And now, if we back, go back home, here you go. You got circular layout. But personally, I like better, and it's easier to get around with um, the uh, layout that I had before instead of circular or flower. Um, I just change it to grid. And as you saw, really quick, you can change it to other things if you buy a pro version. There is a side corner one and the one with the center or, uh, or uh, you know, icons in the middle. So, but like I said, this looks nice. I like it. Um, also, while we're here, uh, quick start column, you can change it, like I said, anywhere from two in the column to eight by default is five. Um, you can also add more icons by simply left click, hold, and add icons, it gives you all your icons. You go through, select what you want to add. Okay, in there. Um, actually, let me go a little further. We're going to go back there, add icons. And if it's email, if it's one of the common apps, you do it here. If it's the one, any of your installed apps, you create, you click on generic apps and um, you get the list of all of your installed apps and you can go ahead and add it from here. Let's go ahead and add um, something really quick. For example, uh, Crackle and now there it is right here. If you want to remove it, again, you left click, hold it and remove it. You can also edit icons if you want to. Now, if you click on App Drawer, it's very simply laid out. Some sections on the upper, on the left side, um, you can't control them, but you can add more icons um, to them. And um, the cool part about it is uh, most of the sections have either suggested apps or a plus sign, which will get you uh, to again uh, suggested apps, so you can install straight from here. Very nice, very clean. Um, I like it. I've been using it for a few, uh, few well, a few weeks now, and I enjoy it. It's, you know, I have uh, I have it on a few of my boxes, uh, different kind of boxes. Works well. Does not have any problems. And again, thumbs up to that uh, developer. Uh, I do encourage you to buy a per version so you can do more and support developers so they can update the applications and do you know continue doing a great job uh, thank you for watching if you like this video make sure you give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe